I found something really interesting in relation to the power management and the updates in all the components in Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2. And I think you need to know about this. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So I was tinkering with my MSR um, just the other day. And normally, right, when a new patch comes, you know, with your, especially like a, a multi-role or even combat ships, any kind of ships that you have, you usually go out and you buy all the components that you want for that ship right away, right? And normally with my MSR, I normally go and get uh, all military grade components. So I decided to do that with this patch and decided to equip all military grade um, components into the ship. And I did that and I noticed that with that build, I was having some cooling issues. Okay, so I was having some cooling issues and I'm like, you know, why why is it that the cooler isn't able to keep everything cool? And then I, I realized that I needed to sacrifice some of the pips. Even, even if I give an additional pip here, I'm still having some cooling issues. And if I give an additional pip here, um then it, it addresses the cooling issue so i need full four bars on each cooler um four four pips on each cooler to keep the ship adequately cooled at a sacrifice of um pips for my weapons and and shields and thrusters as well right so so i decided you know what let me go and get uh what's best out there because they made some new updates uh to the components so i checked it out on on the urco website and i realized that the industrial components are actually stellar they're really good with uh, their outputs better cooling uh, better power output so i decided to go and get all grade a uh industrial components and that's what i currently have installed right now all of this is all grade a industrial components and what i noticed was number one my shield generator now this industrial grade i think this this um uh generator is uh shield generator give me one second it's now a size three in uh the msr they updated it to a size three in the msr right so this one is called the parapet okay this one is called the parapet and what i noticed was the parapet as opposed to um the other one that i had the military grade one has a minimum of four pips right i can't i can't say i want to remove just one pip off of it but i need to have at least four available to actually keep it running and i noticed that the military grade uh shield generator didn't have four a, a four pip requirement so I also looked around and I realized that uh, coolers, the cooler that I had on also didn't have the fork. Uh, this one is this one is three. So depending on the component you have, I discovered that you need a minimum. There's a minimum amount that you need to give it. A minimum amount of pips that you need to give it in order to keep it running. Which means you have less available to be, to be more flexible, especially if you're out in the battlefield and you need more pips to your weapons and, and maybe shields and, and things of that nature, right? So it, it seems like it's super important to know the type of components you have installed, its capabilities and its flexibilities as well. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go in and swap out all these components back to the military grade and we're going to see the difference between the coolers and the shield generator okay i'll be right back okay so i'm back so like i said uh before right right now i currently have the snow packs grade a industrial uh two of them the power plant that i have is uh uh genoa two of them right um grade a industrial and uh my shield generator is the parapent and uh this one is uh 
this one is uh grade a industrial right so um so that was the current setup that you just watched i'm going to be swapping out to the grade a in uh, military okay so swapping these out um, i'm going to go with the quadra cells which is grade a military as well and I'm going to go with the Avalanches, grade A military. Okay. I'm going to save that. Okay. So I am back. So, um, so now I have the military grade items now installed, right? And for some reason, only one of the military grade, uh, coolers was installed and the, um, industrial one remained. So, now you can see as an example, right? The industrial one requires a three pip to actually run. And the military grade, the um, avalanches, coolers only require one pip. So also, if you look at my shield generator, the industrial uh, shield generator required four, but this military grade generator i think it's fr 86s that i that i did only requires two to actually run you know so you can now see the differences with some of these components and um will need to be tinkering with just to um get the right level of flexibility that you want you know you're gonna have to make these kinds of decisions right do you want flexibility with the military grade stuff um, and sacrifice a little bit of the shielding or do you want the full shielding but it's going to take a lot of your resources to keep those shields up and running right so that's what i noticed this speaks to the upcoming engineering gameplay right this is some of the things that we're going to have to learn and tinker with and it's going to bring a lot of depth into the game and i'm really super excited for right so um yeah so that's what i that's what i've learned um i can i can now allocate what i need uh make some sacrifices and still keep the systems running um if i need to based on what i have installed so uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on this uh before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one.